today I'm going to share to you how to do this spring stitch. This is very nice for blankets because it's dense, simple and easy and the texture is the same on both sides. Okay? So I will be using a male cotton yarn, 5 ply and 4 mm hook. Okay, for the stitch count, depending on how many diagonals you would like. So for example, uh, since I'm superstitious, I like number 8. So I wanted 8 diagonals. So the stitch count will be 8 times 2. So that makes it 16. And then add 2, two extra stitch. So for this case, I will be making 18 stitches for my foundation. However, for my foundation, I prefer a chainless foundation. Okay, so we'll start first with our um, one row of chainless foundation. Okay, we make two chain. This two chain will serve as our first stitch. Okay, you see in the front you have the V, and then the back we can see there is a backbone so we will insert our hook on the backbone of our chain okay then two loops so that's now stitch count is two so proceed until we get 18 stitches. And we are down to our 18th stitch. Okay. So you see, if we did the, uh, the normal uh, foundation with a chain, so this, this would have been our first row of chain and a single crochet row. So that's pretty much how to make a chainless foundation. So then chain one reverse. And then on the last stitch of the previous row we make a slip stitch okay then we start our half double crochet on the next stitch then slip stitch half double crochet three loops Okay, then slip stitch. 
ओके हाफ डबल क्रोशे स्लिप स्टिच सो बेसिकली दिस इज जस्ट एन अल्टरनेट ऑफ हाफ डबल क्रोशे एंड स्लिप स्टिच ओके हाफ डबल क्रोशे स्लिप स्टिच You see, if we at the back, we can now see our diagonals. Okay, half double crochet, slip stitch until we end. Uh, we reach at the end of our row. Okay, then half double crochet, slip stitch. Then at the last, remember our first stitch when we begin with the two chain. Okay, we do our single crochet. Okay. That's our first row. Then chain one, reverse, and then on our the single the last single crochet of the previous row, we make a slip stitch into it. Okay, then we start with our half double crochet. And then slip stitch but be careful because this is diagonal and then the chain above so we make the slip stitch above the diagonal okay then half double crochet slip stitch 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 and then at the last stitch single crochet then chain one reverse so basically we continue slip stitch first and then half double crochet slip stitch so you can it, this is just how we do it half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet and then slip stitch just repeat this procedure until you reach your desired row And then, so it's just like this, half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch. And at the end of every row,
is single crochet chain one reverse slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch okay so I'll see you at the end of your desired end of the side row for this one I'm going to do since I have eight diagonals I'm doing eight rows of these diagonals okay we are down to our last row okay um, chain one slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch And then single crochet chain one turn so you see it's very beautiful we do have our spring stitch thank you please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel